Hydrotherm spotted in Yellowstone National Park tourists and officials were surprised by a hydrothermal black diamond pool in July 2025. Geoscientists are trying to figure out how and why it happened in order to better understand this dangerous event. It was like most summer mornings in Yellowstone National Park. Cars jostled for parking spaces, bison lounged in the meadows, and tourists strolled along the boardwalk, taking in the view of bubbling springs and spouts of water and steam. All were unaware of the pressure building beneath Black Diamond Pool, a hot spring in Wyoming's Biscuit Basin, about 2 miles kilometers, northwest of the famed Old Faithful Geyser. Suddenly, shortly before 10 a.m., a jet of muddy, rock-filled water and steam erupted from the murky depths of the pool, forming a 400 to 600 foot, approximately 120 to 180 meter, plume that showered the surrounding area and the boardwalk with rocks and mud. Water from the pool surged toward the nearby Firehole River, carrying boulders and debris, and a plume of steam was visible for kilometers. Fifty-five seconds after the explosion began, it was over. All that was left was a rubble covering about a square kilometer, and a lot of stunned onlookers, who had just run away from the unexpected explosion and wondered what had just happened. Safety was the primary concern in the immediate aftermath, but scientists also moved quickly to monitor additional activity and collect timely observations that could help reveal why the explosion occurred. Over the long, federal, state, and academic organizations are working together to better understand the dynamics and triggers of hydrothermal explosions in order to recognize warning signs of future events before they occur. Hydrothermal explosions, like the July 2024 event at Black Diamond Pool, Figure 1, occur in many volcanic hydrothermal areas around the world. When a pressurized reservoir of hot water suddenly decompresses, the superheated water turns into steam with enough energy to rupture the surrounding rock. Such explosions exist on a continuum from large, destructive events to smaller geyser eruptions that routinely spew water and steam into the air. Geysers are caused by constrictions in hydrothermal piping systems that temporarily trap boiling water and steam until the pressure is high enough for the water to erupt. Hydrothermal explosions, on the other hand, are much less common. They are triggered by a gradual buildup of pressure in a confined system, followed by rapid decompression caused by the rupture of a hydrothermal seal or by an external event such as a landslide or earthquake. Large geysers can rupture a geyser's piping system and hurl rocks and mud like a hydrothermal explosion. And small, spontaneously recurring hydrothermal explosions are arguably more consistent with geyser activity. In Yellowstone National Park, the occurrence of hydrothermal explosions has been known for decades. Since the end of creation about 14,000 years ago, at least 18 large hydrothermal vents have formed craters ranging from 300 to 2,500 meters, 980 to 8,000 feet, across the largest of which, formed about 13,800 years ago, is the largest explosion crater on Earth. More than two dozen hydrothermal vents have been documented in Yellowstone National Park since its founding in 1872. One of the most widely observed events prior to 2024 was the September 5, 1989, eruption of Porkchop Geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin, Fournier et al., 1991. That event, witnessed by nine people, none of whom were injured, hurled small rocks and debris as far as 60 meters 
200 feet from the vent and left a crater more than 10 meters, 33 feet wide. 